Hello Geometry Honors, I'm just picking up where we left off um, in Chapter 2. Now we're on to Chapter 2.6, which is the final uh, s section of Chapter 2. And there's just a couple theorems we need to understand before we kind of have a good understanding of what's expected with proving angles congruent, etc. Okay, so first off we have a theorem. A theorem is a conjecture. You prove... Pardon me, prove to be true. Okay. So, theorems you've heard before, Pythagorean theorem, etc. These are uh, conjectures that have been proven to be true based on using deductive reasoning. Okay. Now, I'm not going to get into the proofs themselves just to save time. But I do want to explain why they work, okay? So let's say we have angles, uh, angle one, I'm just gonna call that one, sorry, one, and let's call this guy two, and let's call, call this guy three, and this guy four. So we have one, two, three, four, okay? Vertical angles, I think vertical angles are intersecting lines, okay? Notice how they share uh, a complete side here and a complete side there. Okay, it's one continuous line uh, for both of them. Okay, so it has to be one continuous line and then another continuous line. No like breaks in the line. Okay, that's important because you're going to see some other examples that are non vertical angles. Okay, so vertical angles, what do we know about them? We know that they are congruent. So angle one and angle three are congruent, they are the same. Okay, so I'm going to designate this with a single ribbon here. Now remember, we don't really deal with colors when we're, we're dealing with math, but we do deal with the number of lines, okay? So vertical angles are congruent. Now, what does that leave for 2 and 4? They are also congruent, so we're going to designate that they might be different measure with two lines, so angle 2 and angle 4 are congruent. Okay. Um... If we have more time, I will show you in class how to prove this, but I want to get through all these notes on the theorems first, okay? Congruent complements, we really don't need to know at this time. Just know that um, if 1 and 2 are complements, that means they add up to 90, and 3 and 2 are complements, and they add up to 90, then that means the two angles are equal to each other, okay? So it's kind of an abstract, not really abstract, but kind of an obscure uh, rule there that we're not going to use, actually use a lot, um, but uh, we might get to it if we have additional time. But for now, don't worry about that. Now, congruent right angles theorem, okay? This seem, also seems like pretty obvious, but if angle 1 and angle 2 are right, they're both right angles, then... What do you know? Angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Okay, If angle 1 is 90 degrees, angle 2 is 90 degrees, and they're both right angles, that means they're congruent to each other. Okay, So that's all that's saying there. Right angle supplements theorem, very similar. If angle 1 and angle 2 are right, okay, that means they're both equal to 90, then that means angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 180 degrees. That means they are supplementary angles. Okay, and that's important to know. Uh, for now, uh, I'm going to pause this video right here, and I will make another video to prove the vertical angles theorem.